new study says Americans hate moving so much <laughs> that some would rather spend time in prison than sell their home. I've done both. I've been <laughs> in prison and I've moved. So That's for minor charges. <laughs> no, minor I'm charges. just kidding. Well, check this out. It takes uh, the average person roughly four months just to completely unpack everything. Some are saying that it's more stressful than even planning a wedding or prepping for a job interview. Right. Look, man, we were talking. Man. Yeah. Such a cool guy. Uh, we talked about this upstairs. It is not easy to move. No, it's not. I've moved a few times, and it's one thing when you move, I think, from maybe your folks' house, and you get a place of your own. Yep. You've got stuff. Then you get maybe an apartment. You got more stuff sure. that you got to move if you buy a house, and then you get married or you move in w with whoever, and you buy a house, and then you got to move again. You've got so much stuff. You don't know what to do with it. Right. It's just an accumulation. And then you start to realize, I think, through that process, number one, this sucks. <laughs> right, <laughs> it does. does. Number two, maybe I don't need all of this stuff. Right. So if you can start to declutter a little bit, I think it's a good time to take stock of what you don't need. Right. The other thing is you find out who your friends truly are <laughs> because they're the only ones who come to your rescue either, A, when they you need someone to help paint right. or when you need someone to help move. And if you have a pickup truck, you're doomed that's because it. you're going to be the one that's going to be loading all of their junk in I, your pickup truck. I'm not fully admitting that this is the number one reason, but I used to have a rather large SUV. I don't have it anymore. I right. went back to a, a car. So damn. I'm just saying that's, you know, no one can ask me to help exactly. them move anymore. Exactly. <laughs> so we got a lot of questions about this. So would you go to prison rather than, you know, the, the whole moving thing? I, I was saying, look, if I if I do agree to going to prison for that week, <laughs> will someone be packing my my stuff at home? Right. And putting it all together so that I, when I get out right. for the week, I can just go. Am I in like, uh, you know, maximum security? <laughs> he has questions. I got questions. Is it maximum security? Do I have a roommate? Because I would prefer, very much so, to you know just be solo. Yeah. In, in, solitary. <laughs> solitary. <laughs> if I can, like away from the general pop pop. <laughs> yeah. God. I. But you know, you're right because I. I I moved, you were asking me upstairs, and I moved to Los Angeles so from, talk I'll talk about it now, I was okay. saving it for the year, okay. from Rhode Island to Los Angeles, and then like a year and a half later, I moved back, right. and then I got this job, and I moved again, so even though the last move was within Rhode Island, it was a lot easier, right. it was still a lot of work, it's and going out to LA was, you know, getting my, my car together, shipping the car, putting boxes in the car, do I need this, do I need that, what right. stuff can stay, so it's a daunting yeah. process. Do we get tattoos when we're in prison, <laughs> and do we have to join a gang? I think that we would both, as I had just my paperwork here for the bus would look great in orange. Because you could see us two in a game, oh, right? Oh, we would oh, do yeah. so oh. well. Well, uh, most importantly here, enough of the orange is the new black talk <laughs> right here. Uh, let's see what our social media friends are saying this morning. Dennis Weiner is up first. He says, I've moved twice in my life, and it's the absolute worst. <laughs> see, it ranks right up there with root canals and kidney stones. Yes, I definitely relocate for a week if anyone even mentions moving again. He's had enough. Christine Michaels adds, we were a military family and moved. Check this out. I was reading it earlier. I was exhausted just consuming this. From Rhode Island to Florida to Texas to Rhode Island to Florida to Maryland to Virginia and retired in Rhode Island. Each and every time it was daunting. With kids in tow, we did it. Would I do it again? No. I don't, uh, doubt, I don't doubt that for a second, Christine. And Josephine Slop shares for us. If you are selling one house to move to another, the worst is having to clear out your current house and keeping it constantly clean for visits from potential buyers, yes. And lastly, Gene Wiley Sadler leaves us with quite the verbal display. I would rather put razor blades up my nose than move. I've probably moved 50 to 60 times in my life. I think I'm done. Yes, I would say that you've done enough. Thanks, everyone. We love when you comment on the Buzz topic each day. Feel free to do so on the Buzz. We post a Facebook Live video each morning between 7.30 and 8. We'd love to have your participation. You can comment away just like that. Uh, you can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found at the Roadshow. For now, we want, I don't know what that was, Will. I'm, <laughs> I'm apparently I'm notarizing some That's things okay. over here. Back to you. All right, we are back in the room.